First, the rules to which a relational database must conform. Now, there's one overreaching rule. The database must not permit any damage to your data. No matter what happens, it has to pass what they call the ACID test. So very briefly, I don't want to spend more than a couple of minutes on this, uh, because I'm sure all of you will have been at college much more recently than an old man like me and can possibly describe these things better. But just to make sure we are all on the same page of the manual, as it were, I want quickly to run through the ACID test. ACID. A stands for atomicity. One definition, a transaction must complete or fail in its entirety. doesn't matter whether the transaction is updating one column in one row or updating you know, a thousand rows and a hundred tables. The entire transaction should commit complete or fail. Now, what is the transaction? The business analysts will have defined the transaction structure. And the database must guarantee that it cannot be broken no matter what happens. And what could happen? Power cut, hardware failure, anything that can cause an instant crash. The database must guarantee that incomplete transactions are never seen and complete transactions are always seen. Second point, C for consistency. The database must guarantee that the data within it is always valid, valid in terms of business rules. At no point can there be anything visible in the database that breaks the integrity rules. Those rules then, the integrity checks, defined declaratively by the DBA as a way of implementing the business rules within your organization. Then I for isolation. Uh, any number of definitions of isolation. Uh, I'll just pick up one or two of them here. The easiest, a transaction must be hidden until it's complete, at which point the transaction must be published instantaneously to all other sessions. But until it's complete, the changes must be isolated to the one session that's seeing them. Um, a follow-on from this, a query must return a result set consistent with the committed state of the database when the query started. There are variations on this, but that's Oracle's definition. You know, read committed and freeze the database as of the time the query started. And finally, D for durability. The database is not allowed to lo lose even one row of committed data. If it does, if your database can lose a row of committed data, then you're using the wrong database, or perhaps even the wrong DBA. But that's the rules of a relational database. It must never lose data. It must never damage data. Now, uh, a brief mention, how do we implement these rules? Constraints, of course, are relational integrity rules. But the overall consideration, if it doesn't conform to the ACID test, then it simply isn't a database.